if we put a light onto a material, it absorbs some light and scatters some light. So the, if the scattering happens, if it's equal to the absorption, uh, equal to the energy of the incident light, then it will be a Rayleigh scattering. But if it's not equal, then that is the Raman scattering, you can say that. And that is the Raman's discovery, he first did that. Because in daily life, we do this kind of technique as a characterization tool of our material, what we synthesize in our daily life for like say for solar cells, say for LEDs, say for transistors, this kind of things. 